This is Heidi Cadwell here, WordPress 101 for Beamers. And we're going to go on into uh, a question that sometimes people have about adding columns into the WordPress post. Now, there may be several ways to do this. Um, one of the harder ways I've seen is people will use some tables in the HTML coding in there. They go to the, not the visual tab, but the HTML tab, and add a bunch of code in there and place things in tables. And tables is the old way of doing things, and not all of us know how to do tables. Um, you know, and some people used to do them all the time on the, on the uh, editor thing on their, uh, their computer that didn't show them what they wanted to look like when they'd write the code down. But just the same, um, that's not the easiest way to add columns. Now, if some people want columns, like, you know, things like their, maybe they had a magazine or something like that, and they had different columns on the front page and things that they wanted, they started making some themes that had columns built in. Or they might have some templates that are built in, and they can add columns that way. Now, what if you have a site, and it's not really a magazine site, and you don't have a theme that will make the columns for you, but you still want some columns? Well, I'm going to show you a plugin today, Easy Columns, that will show you how to do this. We're going to go ahead and get started with it. What you want to do is you want to go on into the back of the dashboard and go to plugins. And from plugins, you want to go on into um, add new and type in easy columns. And then we can search for the plugin. Okay. And. There they are. It's actually WP Easy Columns, so I'm going to go change that in my uh, thing there. I'm going to go ahead and install now. And activate it. And there you can see Easy Columns is now added. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use this. Okay, here I am in, in the post. And it could be a page instead of a post. And you see this little thing here, it's on it. That's now the easy columns. And what it does, it you can actually be in the visual editor. You don't have to be in the HTML editor. In fact, it's probably better in the visual editor at this one. So you just go ahead and let's say uh, after this section here, this first paragraph here, we want to make some columns. And so we can go over here for columns. Now, it shows you a lot of different, you can make three columns, each take up a third of that room. One can take up one third of the room and two thirds of the room. Four columns, five columns. One can be three fourths, one can be one fourth. Just however you want them to do the columns. You could just have them split in half. Now, let's go ahead and try the split in half one. And if these don't work for you, you can actually put some special code in here. Maybe you've got certain ways you want your columns to look, or special styles on the columns. It gives you a place to put that information into. We're going to go ahead and go with the half columns. And you can see this text that you have here. Half column would be the word. Let me go ahead and, and, and save this for you so you can see what it will look like. And here you can see... You have the words half column and half column. And this would be like if you have the title for each of the columns. It's just copying the words that we had in that section. We could put other words in there. Okay, now I'm back in the back. And I changed where it said half column and I gave it a new title. And that could be the title of whatever you want your column to be if you want your column to have a title. And then over here in the second place where they had half column, you put the other title. Now, you want some information under those titles. You want some paragraphs. Or maybe you want just paragraphs and not a column at all. Well, you're going to go the same thing. You're going to click up here. And you're going to put whichever uh, columns. If you do it in half, so that's what we have here. And then where it says it's half column, you type in all the words that you want to use for that section. And then over here, where it had the second um, column, then you go ahead and write more information there. And we're going to go ahead and save it. And there you can see, there's the columns. The columns are showing up. And each time I want a new paragraph, I could just type it, and the columns will get longer and longer. Have fun!